chapter. Inger Stevens' star was on the rise. Fame, wealth, and liaisons with leading men came with that stardom. But just as she was hitting her peak, Inger Stevens took her own life. And today's Inside Story looks at Hollywood as an accomplice. Katie, the farmer's daughter, you can't resist that gal. Wholesome, fresh scrubbed, the girl next door. It was in these terms that Swedish-born Inger Stevens was described. She was the farmer's daughter on television opposite William Wyndham from 1963 to 66. Her credits included 16 movies and countless stage productions, and her career was on the rise. Why then would this girl next door be found dead at age 35 on the kitchen floor of her Hollywood Hills home in 1970 from an overdose of sleeping pills and alcohol? On the surface to friends, things seemed fine with Inger. She was in a great mood. She had just signed on for a new series. She was on a health kick, playing tennis and cutting herself down to one or two glasses of wine and was very happy. But not all was right with Stevens. On at least one occasion prior to her death, Stevens had tried to commit suicide due, perhaps, to a series of unhappy relationships with men. She had a compulsion to have an affair with whoever she was acting with. You're all the world that I want. Quinn directed Stevens in the Buccaneer, co-starring Yule Brenner and Charlton Heston. During the production, Stevens and Quinn became romantically involved. Their relationship undid Stevens' romance with another of Hollywood's leading men, Bing Crosby. I don't know why she chose to say that she was in love with me. That she had fallen in love with me and couldn't marry Bing. An author researching Stevens' life says Stevens' love affairs were numerous and short-lived. Well, she went with George Maharis, uh, Quinn, Crosby, Dean Martin. And a confidant says Stevens herself offered an explanation. She told me that it, it went back to her relationship with her father. He wouldn't pay any attention to her her whole life. And she said, I need acceptance from men. In 1961, Stevens was married secretly to this man, Ike Jones. Though her close friends knew of the union, interracial marriages were controversial in Hollywood. So Stevens kept her marriage a secret for nine years. Toward the end of her life, Stevens separated from Jones. In 1970, she made a movie with Burt Reynolds, and they had a romance.